We're going to do a brief video on interest rates, futures trading, bonds, and we've got a 30-year bond chart here for you. This is a Chicago Board of Trade. Uh, ZB is a signal. It's a 30-year Treasury bond. This is a daily chart with a five-day moving average on it, a 20-day uh, moving average in red, and uh, a 200-day moving average in blue, the five days green. Let's take a look real quick at this, and then I'll show you some algorithmically generated entry prices. This is a daily chart. You can see this is um, severely selling off today. We are down uh, on the Treasury bond over a full point. So over, it looks like almost 40, 30 seconds. The low was 18.06. It's up off its lows now. It's trading at about 119 and 10.30 seconds, but it had hit a low of 118 and 6.30 seconds earlier this morning, a couple hours ago. Um, this bond futures contract is a bellwether for the 30-year mortgage. They also trade off the 10-year treasuries, but this one's easier to look at. We can take a look and see they're inversely related. This bonds go down, interest rates go up. You can see we're having a tremendous sell-off in the bond contract. This 20-day moving average is just being respected like it owns the market, and um, it's really hard to see where an end is in sight. We're getting oversold here. There's no question about it. Again, this blue is the 200-day. And uh, you can see this almost, if you if you look and imagine, it's extend this out. This is a triangle that just keeps getting wider and wider base. And as that happens, just like it did here, you get oversold, you're going to get a rally. So we're going to get a rally in this market here soon at some point, And it's going to rally back up probably very significantly. You can see here it rallied from 30, 131 to 146. We're going to do for a rally in the bond market probably up to the 130 level. But the question is, when is that going to happen? And it's really hard to say right at the moment. Let's take a look at a weekly chart to see what I I mean this is a weekly chart of the bond futures the same thing we we're just looking at but on a weekly as opposed to a daily this is the 200 week moving average you can see it's just a complete disaster just a complete historic sell-off and the question is where is the next um, support for this and it's right about here it's not great it's probably not going to be respect not going to be respected but it's at 116.31 so call it 117.30 seconds which is about a point below it's uh, low that it made this morning. So it's probably going to come down and test that. I doubt very seriously that's going to be enough to stop it. What probably will stop it is this low right here at the 111 level, but it's hard to say. It's got to go through and do what it's got to do. But right now you're catching a falling knife that weighs about a thousand pounds, and there's not too many people that's going to get in front of that. But you can see from a weekly chart, you can see that it came down here and rallied up significantly. So it may have another three points in it before it hits a bottom and rallies up significantly like 10 points. So I expect that's going to happen. The question is, where is that bottom? There's really no way to tell right this second because the support's not very good. So that's what we've got for you on the charts. Let's take a look at our band research algorithmically generated entry prices that we put out for treasury bonds. We put them out for the simple ZB. They're right here. They're out for this morning and every morning, Monday through Friday, before 7 a.m. It's out for October 21st. It's got some buys one two five ten and twenty days uh you're going to get a buy or a short either morning uh, every morning and you can see here we got some one day holds at 1809 and uh, 18 and 9 30 seconds and that would have been uh hypothetically a profitable trade already would have made uh, a significant profit on that again hypothetically only uh and the two five ten and twenties it looks like they rise slightly up to 19 and a half and all the way up to 20 to, I'm sorry, uh, 120, uh, 120 and 230 seconds for a 20 day hold. These are trading days. So one trading day means you get in today, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea, get out tomorrow at the end, or in this case, Monday at the end of the trading session at a loss or take your profit sooner if you get them. So you could have hypothetically day traded in and out with the one day today. The two day looks like it's still underwater and it has been hit though. It's a live price. Your range today on bonds is uh, 120 and 15 30 seconds to 118 and 6 30 seconds so anything below 120 13 is live all the way down so all of these are live and of course some of them are underwater again you trade at your own risk everything you see here is for entertainment purposes only can't use it for anything other than entertainment it's all hypothetical and um you should do your own analysis. You can get access to all of our entry prices every morning before 7 a.m. We have 190 stocks, the major forex pairs, BTC crypto, the treasury bond futures that I just showed you, S&P 500 crude and gold futures. If you uh, 
want to sign up, they're all available before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. There's a link in the description below. You just follow it over to rbmresearch.com. No, no credit card required. It's free. You just put your email address in there and get signed up for immediate access. If you check the night before, they usually come out for everything but crypto after 6 p.m. the night before. But officially, they're out at 7 a.m. the morning of. Keep in mind, everything's for entertainment purposes only, as we discussed. You trade at your own risk. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. And if you have any great comments for us, we'd love to hear it in the comment section below. It looks like interest rates are headed even higher, especially if you're borrowing for mortgages.